Hello everyone and welcome back to another playthrough of, um, well another world actually, in Final Fantasy Record Keeper for the mobile phones. Uh, it's a pretty good game so far. Um, when I last left off, if you guys remember, I was playing through Final Fantasy VIII in the Final Fantasy VIII rules. Um, everything is complete now. Um, I actually did the one down, the one on the bottom, uh, a couple of days ago. And it was just pretty much fighting over the, the machine again, and that was it. So there was nothing to do with the story. So after I completed that, that was pretty much it. So we have all the Final Fantasy completed. And now here we are with Final Fantasy IX, which is only a couple. There are only five of them. Yeah, there are only five for this world. So, uh, yeah, so let's get right in. So, Tyro and Lara investigate the record sealed within another corrupted painting. From the darkness appears a, ro a rogus, ro <laughs> roguish type sporting a tail. <laughs> Alright. This should be interesting. Alright, look, there it is. She's right, the corrupted painting. What is it, Joel? I was just worried about Shadowsmith. He went to check out the western side. Yeah, he hasn't come back yet. I hope nothing's happened. I'm sure he's talking all due, all due caution. This is Shadowsmith after all. Shadowsmith after all. Joel? Elaya? You should be worried more about the corrupted paintings. We're relying on you to deal with them. Right, let's go, Lara. Okay. Alright, so here we are, Final Fantasy IX. Oh, I remember this. Huh? I think that's the... The ship was called the Tantalus, if I'm not mistaken. Joel. Lara, woo. I think we're close. I can't see a thing in here. Where could this be? Sure is dark. Guess nobody's here yet. Oh. <laughs> Who's there? If you're there, say something already. Um, sorry. Wait, is that you, Joel? One moment, I'll get a light going. You're here too, Alara. Hey, it's you. Huh? Who's there? It's me, Zidane. Joel, Alara, what's taking you so long? Strike the pose. Oh, right, sorry, I got distracted. The pose? You mean what they just did with their hands? Something like that. Once again, from the top. You guys sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? Ain't here yet. <laughs> I remember that opening too. We had to fight him with the dragon mass helmet on. <laughs> yep, just got a couple of moves here. Double cut, steel defense. Let's go double cut. Vanjaga. You can defend. Should double cut again. Okay. Oh, man, he hits everybody. Alright, let's kill again. Let's keep attacking. He's almost gone. He's almost dead. Almost got him. Oh, 
Oh my head. Go easy, you guys. One thing I always liked with mana, the battle themes are pretty good. I love the music. Even though it wasn't too big on the series, uh, but still a good game. Wasn't too big on Zidane. It wasn't one of my favorites. Hey fools. You're looking a lot better. Go ha ha ha. Alright, let's start this meeting already. Alright, it's time for the meeting to kidnap the princess. Meeting? I thought he was the bad guy here. Baku? He's the leader of the Tantalus arm um, trope. So are we part of Tantalus now, too? Looks like it. Ah, does this mean we'll have to perform on stage? Stage? What are you talking about? Draw oh, Lara, what's taking you so long? Hurry up. Coming. Let's go, I'll, I'll explain everything later. Okay. Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission, to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. <laughs> he has a little doll too with him. Like, the game. Wait, what? Thieves? Kidnapping? I'll take you from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're gonna put our put on our our costumes. And perform I Want to Be a Cannon, the most popular play in Alexandria. We have to perform Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers would be Blank and Zidane. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. <laughs> Alright, that's the... Um, oh, yeah, the Oglips. That's what they call Oglips. <laughs> but I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Zidane. Okay. Okay, decision making time. Hmm. <laughs> That's where when I'll kidnap Princess Barn Barney. Definitely not for the princess. You bet you're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. Are we really kidnapping the princess? That doesn't sound legal. <laughs> uh alright. And that is a serious crime. And Princess Gonna has a knight. Uh, let's go with the second one. Must be nice to have a knight. Quite the brave knight, too. He'll take on any foe who threatens his charge. Oh, I guess they're talking about Steiner. <laughs> but don't worry. No member of Tantalus would ever think of harming in Princess Garnet. I'll have to take your word for it, Joel. Um, so I was wondering, will Alara and I be going out on stage too? You two will be in the wings. What did you want? What did you want to perform? No, no. Woo. Ah. Huh? You wanted to go out there, Alara? Why not? Sound like fun. Boy, I would like to see Alara's take on Cornelia <laughs> myself. Joel, Laura, you may not have roles to play on stage, but you'll have plenty to keep you busy when Blank and I come off, so, so stay sharp. You bet. <laughs> yeah, Zidane wasn't my favorite. I actually like Blank more. He was cool.
So Joel, Showtime. Have a Showtime? Looks like it. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her, her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crosses swords with the king. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Barney, your highness, Princess Garnet. Noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your cannery. Let's begin. <laughs> that for it, our father, that for our mother, if I'm saying it correctly. Marcus, thou hast have lost even thy love. Fortune hath escaped thee. For what then shalt thou live? For the sake of our friend, let us bury our steel in the heart of wretched King Leo. Aye. Aye. We shall back thee, kinsmen. Pray, shape, <laughs> sheath thy swords. This villain is mine alone. Nay, kinsmen. For I too have lost a brother to this fiend. What? How art the vermin? Away! Thou darest bear thy sword before the king? All who stand in my way will be crushed. Treacherous Leo, my kinsman's suffering will not be in vain. For I shall instruct, the, instruct thee in this incomparable pain. Oh my god, this talk. <laughs> oh, I don't get to fight. I'm just gonna watch this. I always like doing that scene, that battle. That makes you want to play the PS1 version now. <laughs> off, Leo. I mean, off. You know, I have it on the PS4 as well. I can play it on there. Thou hast not seen the last of me, Marcus. Come back. Out of the way, Blink. Consider this. Consider this, Zidane, if Princess Schneider were to marry Princess Cornelia, peace would, would reign over both their kingdoms. This foolishness, if all were so easy, why none would suffer in Israel? Aha! Huh. Ah! Let's get ready, Lo. We're joining. We're joining up with Zidane and the others soon. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Getting interesting. And God, expect no quarter from me. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I don't think I ever completed it. Like I got it correct on for each um button I had to um, press. <laughs> Maybe I did. I don't remember doing it correctly. We shall finish this later. Come back here. Okay, so that was the end of part one. So part two, Tyron Law would join the Tantalus plot to kidnap Princess Garnet. After meeting Garnet with Zidane, the story takes an unexpected turn. Okay, so let's continue on with the story. So far interesting, I did a good job with this. 
Okay, all's going according to plan so far. Okay. According to recon. The royal seat, the royal seat should be right above these stairs. Got it. They're putting on quite the show out there. Uh oh, the scene where Marcus sneaks into Cornelius' chamber is about to start. Let's get this over with before the final, okay? The final. The final. Yeah. Hmm, she sure is just funny. I know who that is. Um, would you please let me pass? Let's see. Is there something on my face? Oh, no. You see... I just thought maybe you were the one I'd been waiting for all this time. Excuse me? You were waiting for me? Yeah, I dreamt of meeting you here ever since I was born. Did he just confess his love? <laughs> Something like that. Maybe or maybe not. Do you mock me? No, of course not. Then I shall take my leave of you. Just a sec. Haven't we met before? No, I do not know you. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I never let someone as pretty as you get away. Say you wouldn't... Hey, what's going on today? I... I must go. Eek. <laughs> you okay, Lon? I think so. Who the heck was that? Get up, Blank. That was Princess Garnett. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I never liked Zidane's character. Being a flirt <laughs> at the sky. But Blank was always my favorite. It's so that you don't get to use him after the, the forest. And Steiner. Woo! Fatigue rears his ugly head. No, I must persevere. The princess has disappeared during the play. I must find her. Wait, over there. It's Princess Garnett. Being hounded by br brigands. Oh, but, yeah. If I said it correctly, fear not, Princess. Your night is coming. I actually like Steiner. I don't think a lot of people liked him, but I liked him. Fancy night in, in 2D is pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> I remember this. So much more interesting seeing it in this, this uh, form. <laughs> Form of graphics. Phew, well it looks like we finally made up made up your mind. Wow, we really had to improvise, but hey, we got her. Not bad. Do you do you work in this theater shirt? Ah, uh, so she figured it out, huh? Look like it, looks like it. As you have no dial suspected. The truth is that I am actually Princess Garnett to Alexandros, heir to the throne of Alexandria. I have a favor I wish to ask of you. I wish to be kidnapped right away. H huh? I, I don't, I mean. Princess, where are you? Please, they've come for me. 
Aha, so that's what's going on. That's what's going on. All right, lead them to us. Thank you. You have my gratitude. All right then, your highness. We shall hereby do our best to kidnap you. Ah. What are you doing? Come on, this way. Don't worry, princess. It's my friend. Sina. I guess it's called Zina. Oh, really? I'm sorry, you startled me. He did, he did burst into the room. Well, with a face like his, I'd be pretty shocked too. Man, that hurts. I wash up every morning, you know. Princess! <laughs> this way. Alright, we'll follow you. Princess! Princess? Princess! <laughs> Princess! <laughs> oh my god. Stana was an interesting character <laughs> in the, the game. Princess! Yeah, I was getting tired of repeating it. <laughs> Let's get the play over with and get the hell out of here. We should withdraw into this room here. Okay. Aha! Princess, I start have come to rescue. Come to your rescue. Princess Garnett. You need it right, your highness. Good work. This will be remembered as the Pluto's night's finest hour. Hee hee hee. Just relax, princess. We'll get you out of here. What? Looks like Tansos has a teamwork thing down. You bet we do. You're not one of my knights. You can't, you can't just leave the princess to us. <laughs> That's right, we're kidnapping her and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Villains, how dare you trick the princess? That's how this defends. Weak against lightning. Oh, counter attack? Yeah. Uh, steel HP. Cure. Oh, oh my god, definitely cure. She's about to die. <laughs> oh, please don't. Oh, she countered again. This sucks. HP, Kyoga. Oh, I got a special here I can do. Defense. Oh, def okay, I'm definitely using this. Heal, heal everyone back. I forgot he did a counter it. It's fine. Oh, he missed. Perfect. Let's quickly take him out. Alright, Stan is no more. We won. That's the end of this dungeon. 
Am I supposed to fight the bomb? I guess it's part 3. Oh, yes, it is part 3. Okay. Okay, so you know, I got a branch in this path over here. So this one, Tyra goes to, to the aid of Steiner, a knight loyal to the royal family of Alexandria who is struggling to protect the princess from thieves. Okay, so in this story, I'm a member of the Pluto Knights. It's interesting. But, um, and then here is part three. Uh, to evade Steiner, Tyra and the others barge their way onto the stage during a performance. Even Garnet and the Black Maid Vivi play a role in the forests. For say that it sues, I'm sure it's if I say it correctly, but um, yeah, I remember the scenes. We get Vivi on the team, um, one of the best mages out of all the Final Fantasy. I actually like is him, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That I, I mean, that I'll go for today. Um, then after these two paths, we have then we have one more, and then that's it for the Final Fantasy Nine world. So, um, that's pretty much it for this episode. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. And I'll definitely have a part two coming out. And I'll uh, thank you all for watching as always. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe out there. Take care.